Well, good morning, everybody. I know it's been quite a, quite some time, well, two weeks since I've been on the internet. I'm just gonna say really quick, I'm gonna keep the intro short. Hello, I hope everybody's doing really good. I miss you guys. I feel like I, I just feel like I, I'm still like connected to you guys because I'm on Snapchat, but I know a lot of people who are subscribed to me don't necessarily have Snapchat. So if you wanna keep up with what I'm doing and stuff, because I'm really active on Snapchat. I'll leave it on the, the screen somewhere around here. I'm, you know, it's just, it's a way to keep up for me if I'm not uploading. I missed you guys, and I hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope you guys, you know, are doing good, and if you know it's springtime, it's beautiful outside, which is awesome. That means planting, that means just a bunch of coolness, you know? Oh my gosh. Mm. I've been juicing a lot. I've been really loving juicing. I've just been trying to just get healthy into my life again. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm totally unhealthy as far as my diet and stuff like that go. It could be better. And I've just been trying to get that kind of stuff into me. Okay. We won't make this an eating video. I wanted to um, show you guys a few of the things that I've been up to lately. Plus, I wanted to kind of show you guys really quick how my turtles are doing. I know Doreen here on um, one of my subscribers and I wanted to kind of show her about, teach, you know, show her my turtles, show them where I put them, kind of give an idea of what I feed them and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Anyway, I wanted to show you something really quick but I did. I made this one. It's one of my favorite sunsets. This one Caden made. We're, of course, we're adding, this is gonna be added to the wall. I made that, Caden made this one, Savannah made this one, I made this one, and Jesse made this one. So, so far we have a good rectangle going, but I still have to have like a lot of family come over and do them, so I'm excited about that. We got the garden started, everybody, and we also went to Lowe's the other day and got a whole bunch of plants. I just soaked myself. But anyway, we did some gardening, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff. with perennials. I love that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's just so awesome. I would love to put some more of those in my yard. I love how whimsical it is, how they just like do that. Oh yeah, baby, that's beautiful. Now, I wanna show you guys the tor the tortoises. When I get my vegetable garden done, I'll show you that, but for now, I, I would love to show you guys my tortoises. They had woken up out of hibernation, correct, right? Everybody, maybe you guys knew that, I don't know. JD had to make an enclosure, and this little pad right outside of our door, like this little pad right here, and it's like the perfect place because the sun will hit it, and it's just so beautiful, I mean, they have so much room, so much better than the last one. JD did an amazing job. It does have locks, um, and then you just open it, and right here is the little thing. You just go like that, and you just prop it open. And then, you know, I'm still gonna put some stuff in here right now. It's kind of barren, but you know, tur tortoises don't really care much. They just wanna move around. And this one opens as well. And let's go inside of here and say hello, shall we? So right there, the one in front is Sleepo. Sleepo, what you doing? That's Turner sticking his little head out. And look, they're sleep ball. Doreen, here they are. Here's my tortoises. Hi. You're so cute. One of my son's friends, moms into kindergarten, we were friends, they were her kids' tortoises, and she ended up getting colon cancer, and she ended up passing away, and I reached out to her husband and said, you know, if you, because I knew that they were struggling, she was struggling with the tortoises, and I had helped her a few times. I knew she was struggling with the tortoises, and so I, a few times I took them in. I took them in to help her with them, that way she didn't have to go feed them every day. You know, she was battling cancer. So I would take them and bring them to my house. Well, she ended up passing away, which is so sad. But anyway, her name was Michelle Turner. So when I reached out to her husband and said, hey, would you like me to take your tortoises? If you would like me to take your tortoises, I'm here. I will take them for you. Because I just know, like, 
I don't know, grief is a strong thing. I knew they weren't really his thing. And so I just wanted to offer that to him. And he actually hit me up on that. So I renamed Sleepo, the male, the small one, because he sleeps a lot. <laughs> and I named the bigger one Turner because I didn't think it was appropriate to name him or her Michelle. You know, it's just not appropriate. But I was like, you know what, let's give the last name of the of the uh, person who was the owner for like 15 years. Just to, for people to know, if you would like to keep your tortoises outdoors, I would do a lot of research. I am not the all knower of how to keep tortoises. This was a learning curve for me. I have been going pretty much based off of trial and error. You can keep them indoors under the right circumstances and under the right temperatures but you have to be very diligent on it the reason why tortoises aren't lasting as long is because people aren't doing their research and educating themselves russian tortoises they're land tortoises so they like to roam they will pace if they are inside in a container they will pace the container and they will claw at it i mean it, it's just I, I prefer to keep them outdoors to be honest with you if i do bring them inside which i do if it's raining heck of hard or you know it's getting to be where they're hibernating and they're just it's cold outside but they're not quite there yet I will bring them indoors and what I do is I cut bring them in I soak them in warm water which I will do periodically through the summer as well just as long as it is covering their vent then that means they're getting hydrated that way because they don't necessarily drink a lot they will but they get mostly hydrated by their food and then also by soaking them I'll soak them and then I will take like a a a little bit of antibacterial soap and I will because usually they go to the bathroom in the inside the water and I will wash I will keep it away from their face but just the bottom of their shell and their feet and stuff where it was exposed to the water because they do carry germs and like salmonella and stuff like that so you have to be very careful especially if they're gonna be roaming around your house you know what I mean um the reason why I soak them when when they first come in is because I know they will go to the bathroom so they're less likely to go to the bathroom in my house I, I will have tortoises in my house like several times during the year if it gets way too hot outside if you're gonna have them outdoors definitely have to have some kind of thing where you can close them because it's just not safe they will they are preyed upon by cats and other types of animals so you have to be very careful because you don't want to come out and see an empty shell that would be very sad yeah i would definitely make sure you have something enclosed what i feed my tortoises is i get its paper towel and this is another thing that you need to do if you want a tortoise look up what they can eat because there are things that are poisonous or not good for them what i have learned bananas not good for them avocado not good for them a lot of fruit actually is not good for them. As far as fruit goes, definitely not bananas and avocado. I think avocado is not. Yeah, it's a fruit. But as far as other fruits, you can feed them fruit just periodically as a treat. Most of them don't really like fruit, but they will eat certain kinds. You just don't want to give them a lot of fruit because it, it's just not really good for their system. Mostly want to feed them a lot of greens. Spinach is a no-no. You do not want to feed them spinach. And as far as kill goes, very periodically do you want to feed them kill. You can feed it to them, just don't give it to them every single day. I feed mine dandelion greens and collard greens most, no, I'm sorry, dandelion greens and mustard greens mostly. Get the frozen vegetable mix and I heat it up and I keep the leftovers in the fridge and then I kind of make little salads every single day for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will show you what it looks like at the end. I saved some for Dexter. They also really like, I don't have any right now, but you know the carrots that you buy in the organic section that have the that still have the greens on them? They love the greens of the carrots. Um you can you can mix it up. You know, they you can put collard greens, you can do, you know, you can just get the list offline and mix up their food. I tend to just kind of stick to the basic things, honestly, because I know what they like. I know what my turtles like. I've tried a lot of fruit and I've tried that stuff. They're just not really that into it. They don't eat it. I've tried tomatoes, they don't eat it. Sometimes they eat zucchini, so you just kind of know what they like and you just stick with it. Now, my turtles would live off of the frozen stuff. I will not let them live off the frozen stuff. I definitely always put greens in there because Sleepo likes a lot of the greens, but I want to encourage it. And sometimes if you put it in there enough, and sometimes I won't even put the frozen stuff, so all they have is the greens, there's that. So hold on, I'm gonna you know finish this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> so cheesy. <laughs> 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour these right here inside of here and I'm gonna run it through cold water a few times just so they're not hot. What I will do sometimes is I will cut the green beans in half so they're not as big because they do not have hands. Well, they do have little arms, but you know, they pretty much eat with their mouth. Sometimes it's easier just to cut it down a little bit. And then I will save this in the refrigerator. Sorry if it's blurry. Save this in the refrigerator so that way tomorrow I don't have to do this this every single day. Okay, so I really wanted to quickly show you where I hibernate my tortoises. I hibernate my tortoises inside of a bin in the wintertime. If your tortoises are indoors, you do not necessarily have to hibernate them because they have lights, but their natural instincts are to hibernate so personally if I were you if it was me even if they were indoors I would hibernate them in a box during the winter time um, personally I think it's just better on the tortoises to hibernate them now saying that you have to hibernate them right because if you don't hibernate them right they can die <laughs> So you gotta be very careful. And another thing, I am not an expert, so this is where I would say do research. Research the shit out of any animal before you buy it. Do not just go buy it blindly. Research, research, research. I highly, highly, strongly recommend that because you just gotta research. So I hibernate them in a bin right here. And of course you wanna put tons of holes in the bin. You just keep them inside your inside your garage, you know, like that's all. And you will notice when they start to wanna hibernate, if they're indoors, they'll start to dig, they'll start to not eat as much. They will kinda of start to shut down, if you will. Not die, but just shut down. Okay, now I have to say, as far as what the mixture is, I don't know. This is what I had the hardest time figuring out when I did research. The one thing I did was I went to a reptile store, it was called Serpentarium, and you can probably go to your reptile store and talk to them about this. They had pre-made hibernation bags for the tortoises made up. I use that, you guys, because I searched high and low on the internet. It's just so confusing to me on what was the best thing to hibernate them in, and you wanna make sure that's right. I can't give you what was in the bags because I don't remember. All I know is I bought like three bags. They were like $20 each, so was it expensive? Yes, but I haven't had to fill it again. It's okay, like it's fine. Um, what I do every single year before hibernating, after I put in the bag, I just get the, the leaves that have been on, the, you know, the dried leaves on the ground, and I mix it all in here. I just mix all the leaves in here. This was the hardest part for me, you guys, was figuring out what to freaking put in this box. So I say go to your local reptile store, not Petco, not PetSmart, not any of those places. I'm talking straight up reptile stores and if you don't have that really research it maybe even reach out to a few people like tortoise people who have had a lot of experience in hibernating and they might be able to tell you as far as what to put i'm sorry if i'm confusing you it's trial and error you guys <laughs> okay see i just want to put it out here friends. Beautiful it is today. God's artwork. Holy moly. So beautiful out. I know this might not have been the most entertaining video for everybody, but I had somebody in particular in mind, so I love you, girl. Yeah, I've been uh, t telling her that I would do a video on my tortoises for a long time. Anyway, I'm going to go edit this video so I can get it up for you guys today. The it was nice to be back on here to talk to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry if it was kind of all over the place. I'm not the best at, ex at, at explaining things. So if anybody's ever interested in getting tortoises, like I said, definitely any animal, any reptile in particular, research the crap out of it. 
there's that. Anyway, all right guys, well, I shall talk to you later. Have a good life until I see you next. Bye.